Before I start the video, I would like to give a massive shout out to my Patreons who have been supporting my channel. If you would like to check out my Patreon and receive early access to some very exciting videos coming soon, then please click the link in the description below. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nerd Den here once again. And in today's video, one of the two that are going to be releasing today, we're going to be looking at uh, our first look at The Legend of Ruby Sunday, which is very exciting because this is the first part of the two-part season finale, which will be tying most things together for season one that's been set up for this new era of Doctor Who, which is very exciting. We've got the return of Bonnie Langford as Mel Bush. We've got uh, the mystery of Susan uh, Triad, who will be uh, revealed to be whoever. Could it be Sutex? Could she be a servant of the Trickster? Who knows? But uh, things are hyping up, as always, in the Hooniverse. So yeah, with that being said, uh, let's get into the video and talk about what's going on in the world of Doctor Who. Okay, so first of all, from TV Zone, we've got this brand new preview image of Shooter Gatwa and, well, the one and only lovely Bonnie Langford. And in this image, we've got them in a hallway, and I'm guessing this is Mel going undercover with Unit because she's filling in the Doctor with some intel, I'm guessing, regarding Triad technology. And uh, there's a lot of uh, theories about there regarding uh, what Triad are up to, but uh, oh boy, this looks very cool, and it looks like the Doctor and Mel are going on a little espionage. Uh, miss mission. I couldn't get my words out there, but still very cool nonetheless. And then next we've got uh, the Doctor, Ruby and Mel all working together. So it looks like, yes, Ruby is going to be uh, a part of this little mission as well, which is very exciting. Uh, I can't wait to see them all working together. That You know, like a new companion working with an old companion and stuff like that. It's just so cool to see and it just seems mm. very exciting. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see how this dynamic works on screen and something that we will see continue into season two as well, which is very exciting. Then next we've got uh, Kate Lethbridge Stewart, obviously played by Gemma Redgrave. And this is her in, well, what appears to be the unit headquarters, but it's like the basement, essentially. And this is where there's meant to be a VHS tape or something that relates back to the Third Doctor era. So yeah, there's gonna be a few classic Who references, which could indicate who the villain is or where this villainous plot has come from. So maybe it's been hanging around for a long time, you know, the one who waits, perhaps, who knows? But then we've got uh, the Doctor in Unit HQ once again um, with Ker Colonel Ibrahim, I believe from the 60th anniversary special, The Giggle. Nice to see him back as well. Alongside Lenny Rush's new character, um, I believe it's called Morris. Um, he's meant to be one of the new unit scientific advisors. So that's really cool to see him there as well. And again, it'll be nice to see more recurring roles in the Doctor Who universe. But it's nice that Unit are getting a big role to play as well, which is really cool. Then, yeah, we get another close-up look there of Lady Rush's Morris, which is really cool. Um, and again, I can't tell if he's in like the uh, basement area of Unit HQ as well. But um, yeah, things are all really heating up when it comes to this finale with Unit being involved. Uh, we've got the Doctor here meeting Susan Triad for the first time. He's like, yeah, I know who you are. Or, well, I know of you because you keep appearing everywhere that I go. And then we've got uh, the lovely Bonnie Langford as well behind him as well, alongside, I'm guessing, some you know basic security guards and PR team for Triad technology, which is always oh, is very exciting. And then we've got uh, Susan Triad there. And again, people keep pointing this out, S Triad is an anagram of TARDIS, so perhaps Triad technology are basically selling TARDIS-like technology, or could it be that uh, <coughs> maybe uh, Susan Triad is actually the monk uh, instead of Sutek, or maybe like the monk is working for Sutek. But again, yeah, the fact that TARDIS technology is being sold, it's not easily acquired, so it would kind of make sense that a time was involved, maybe? I don't know. Uh, but then we've got another shot here of, uh, well, the Doctor and... Uh, Kate Leopard Stewart in the background, but then we've got Ruby alongside Rose Noble, which is nice to see Rose back. Um, I did quite like her in the 60th special, so it's nice to see uh, one of the Noble family members back, and perhaps she might provide us with some updates um, on the 40th Doctor and Donna and the rest of the Noble clan as well. I'm looking forward to that, but I'm guessing she's working for Unit, which is, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see that happen, but oh, very exciting. And then we've got uh, Ruby's uh, foster mom, Carla, uh, talking to Ruby here, and perhaps this uh, object here uh, could 
be to do with um, Ruby's heritage. Perhaps it's like one of the only things that Ruby's um, biological mom left for her. Uh, and then we've got a nice behind the scenes shot here as well. I'm guessing this is for like the TARDIS landing and stuff. And then this shot here, we've got Mrs. Flood with Cherry. Now, obviously, I don't want to seem like, oh, Mrs. Flood's a villain. Perhaps Mrs. Flood is in charge of looking after Cherry uh, whilst Carla goes to unit. But uh, could Mrs. Flood be looking after her or could there be someone else up her sleeve? I don't know, but looking at uh, Cherry Sunday's mm. face there, it's not a good indication whatsoever. Ooh. Oh, no, maybe she's finally asking her. Uh, no, maybe she's finally about to get that cup of tea that she's been asking for since the Christmas special. Uh, and then we've got a close-up shot of Ruby's... Not Ruby Sunday, sorry. Rose Noble. Um, and I'm, I'm guessing, yeah, that's answered my question. She's working for units. So, but, but she's meant to be a child. So, a, a unit hiring kids now? <laughs> Who knows? But, uh, yeah, we've got uh, Mel again. A nice behind-the-scenes shot there of Mel on her bike. Um, well, like a little moped thing is really cool. And then we've got Stephen Powell, uh, the the uh, narrator and host of Doctor Unleashed. And then we've got behind the scene shot there of Millie Gibson getting some makeup before a shoot, which is really cool. So yeah, there we go. And um, that's our first look at The Legend of Ruby Sunday, which will be releasing next week, which is very exciting. Obviously, I am a bit gutted that the uh, series is going to be wrapping up um, quite quickly. But um, yeah, I'm still looking forward to this um, new episode nonetheless and seeing how this all ties together. But with that being said, Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. If you are new around here, please click that like button and subscribe for more nerdy content. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much for all the support. Take care. Love you all and peace.